All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to some PC building simulator. Today we're gonna be tackling the coffee lake build I mentioned in my last video. And I actually already have a case picked out. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that, guys that right now. We're gonna be using this case. This is the Lee and Lee PC 011 dynamic case. Pretty nice case. It'll be very fitting for our uh, 9900K slash 2080 Ti build. And of course, we'll be comparing this build to all of the previous build, well, all of the previous builds we have, uh, future episodes we might not compare them to, compare PCs to everything we built, just what's on the workbench and of course my computer that we have right here. So this should be pretty cool. This is something we're going up against, of course, the KB Lake build we did last video, the Sky Lake build, and of course my build. So it should be pretty fun. And I've built in this case a little bit in this game. This is one of the newer cases that recently came out and it's pretty nice. I would not, you know, hate to have this case in real life, it'd be pretty great. But we're gonna be doing a fully water-cooled build today. I'm not exactly the best at running pipes and stuff. I've never done it in real life. I'd be a little too terrified to do it in real life to be completely honest with you. But this should be a pretty fun build. One thing I wanted to mention that I kind of noticed in the last video is there was a little bit of background noise with the fan going on. Sometimes it seems like the mic doesn't pick up the background noise, but last video for some reason, it picked it up quite a lot. So I have the AC on in this part because it gets really hot in here. So hopefully I can drown it out with some background music. But yeah, this is a disassembled, disassembled case. And we're gonna start adding some stuff. The first thing I wanna add, of course, is our power supply. Uh, we're not going for dual GPUs in this build. That'll be saved for, I believe, the next build, which should be pretty crazy. The next two builds I have planned after this are gonna be pretty balls to the wall. So for this build, we're just gonna stick in your generic 1000 watt power supply. We'll just use this Corsair one right here. Seems pretty fitting. We're gonna add some storage. This is a pretty high end build. I mean, this is a build you could edit with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick a four terabyte hard drive in this thing. You could assume that would be used for maybe storing large video files and stuff. And a two terabyte drive for games as well as well actually we're going to be taking off these two drive bays i believe we'll be adding some fans down there so we won't be using any 2.5 ssds 2.5 inch ssds for this build but now that we have that added we can start adding our radiators and i'm just going to be using the standard ek water box ones just because they they look a little bit nicer they also have rgb so we have a 360 rad right here as well as a 240 rad up top like so. And now we have to add our reservoir. Now the only problem is this case doesn't really support bigger reservoirs in this game. So to be completely honest with you, I don't know how well having a 140 res would work for a dual radiator you know, system. I don't know how well that would work in real life. We're actually gonna remove that because we wanna add the motherboard. I honestly should add the motherboard first, but this is a video game, so it really doesn't matter. We need a copy like motherboard as well so we'll do the z370 they have the z390 boards in this game but there's only a handful of selection i suppose i could use this one uh, in fact i eh, you know i don't think i am i think i want to use a eatx board for this one actually i don't actually i'll show you why i don't want to use an eatx board for this so let's let's just select an eatx board so let's pick one that it fits with Coffee Lake. This one, this is a Coffee Lake board right here. If we stick this on here, you'll notice and it might be a little hard to see because of this radiator. So let's actually remove this radiator real quick. I just want to show you guys that this kind of doesn't work. You'll see that the motherboard hangs off a bit right there, which uh, I don't believe is very safe. You probably should not do that. I would love to use this motherboard because it has this uh, M.2 little deal right here kind of takes place on one of the dim slots, I guess you could say, and it stores two M.2 drives on it. I would love to use this motherboard, but uh, <laughs> I don't really think it's gonna work very well. So I'm actually gonna try that MSI uh, Z390 board, so I haven't really used it too much in this game. So we're actually gonna use it. Should be pretty cool if it wants to load. The game likes to freeze here and there, especially when I'm doing a lot of stuff. It's not a bad looking board per se. I don't exactly know how much RGB it has, but it should be fine. This is a high-end build, so we'll be sticking in a 480 gig M.2 drive in this thing. Plenty of storage here, I mean, here the fan just kicked on, hopefully it's not being picked up too much in the background, I do apologize for that. And we're gonna stick in some RAM in this build. This is actually a gaming build, 
So I don't want to fill up all four dim slots. That's not what I'm going to do. We're going to fill up just two of the dim slots, turn this thing in dual channel. And we're actually going to stick 32 gigs of RAM in this thing. This is a, this is a higher end system. So I will stick in this right here. This is the fastest 16 gig kit of Trident Z RGB you can get in this game. And that'll be fitting for this build. 32 gigs of very fast memory. Not the fastest supported by this motherboard, but fast memory nonetheless. And of course we gotta add our 9900K in this thing. This build is gonna be a beast. It's basically gonna mop the floor with everything else that we've built in this game so far. But the next two computers after this are gonna <laughs> eat this one for breakfast, let me tell you. Now actually there is another M.2 slot right there. So just because, just because we're here, why not just add a one, one ter, almost one terabyte M.2 drive? I mean, why, why would you not do that if you have the option, right? So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna add our CPU block. This is full RGB right here. Full RGB out the ass, and that is how we do it around here. So of course we'll build some builds that don't have RGB, don't worry. If you don't like RGB, we will build computers that are literally solid black. I already have ideas in mind for what I want to do about that. But let's add our reservoir, add this thing back in. I'd prefer to use this one. It's it's very big and it also has a little RGB ring in there, but it doesn't fit in this case, obviously, because the only mounting point you have is right here. So I don't know if that's actually real. It doesn't look like it's really mounting in anything. I don't know how uh, this actually would mount in real life. I need to look more at this case in real life because it is a nice case. And in fact, I can't use this. I can't use that reservoir. If you can see why, please type below in the comments. The reason why, I just noticed, is the fact that there's no clearance for our pipes here. So you can't turn this around. I just hit my mic, I do apologize. You can't turn that around, which sucks. If I could turn that around, I could I could easily use this, but I can't. I have to use the shorter one. I don't know how you would use a 100, I guess, milliliter rad. I don't actually know. I, I, I wish I knew more about water cooling. I'm definitely... A little bit of a noob when it comes to water cooling something I definitely need to improve on and something I plan on researching and improving on in the future so I can uh, bring more accurate descriptions of things to you guys uh, I've never claimed to be a genius I am very far from a genius I am definitely pretty stupid in some regards but I do love computers I consider myself fairly knowledgeable about them and I love talking about them so that's why I do these videos but yeah now this build is coming together look at all this look at all this all this junk right here looking pretty good but we're not done quite yet. No, we're not done. And in fact, we gotta add our graphics card. I don't actually know. I think it's gonna sit. I have a feeling it's gonna sit on top, but you can easily check this by going to your graphics card. Yeah, I figured it would sit right about here. And this is gonna be the water cooled 2080 Ti. It's just the Oris Extreme. It's a beast of a GPU, let me tell you. I don't know if it's RMA ratings or supportive of that <laughs> but it's still a pretty nice gpu if it's really flush with the motherboard look at that look at that look at that how flush that is dude it's it's very nice but this build is already coming together i mean look at it it's beautiful what what else could it need well let me tell you i'm a big fan of matching things in this game i try to match things as best as i can i'm definitely not good at it by any means but we're gonna add some fans down here we're just gonna stick with the ek water block fans because that's already what we're going with Man, my voice just keeps going out. I, I apologize if you guys can hear my voice when it just fucking dies, but I get too excited playing these games. Can't even talk straight. But let's add our fans. We're just going to stick with the EK water block fans. I know they're not going to look as good as some of the other fans in this game, but just so we have fans that match, we're going to stick with the EK water block RGB fans. Just because it matches. That's the, whole, that's the only reason I'm doing it, is because it matches and it'll still look good, trust me. I promise you this build will look good. So we're done here, really. All of our parts are in, but we're missing cables. So we're gonna add the cables first, and then we're gonna add the piping, which will be the interesting part, because I'm not necessarily the best at it. Um, no one knows everything, that's for sure. There's always something to learn when it comes to computers. I even work in IT, I learn something every day, man. It's, it's pretty crazy what you learn. And now we got a fully, cabled up build here so now it's time to start adding the piping and this is where it can get a little bit weird um i don't exactly know how i want to do this yet i do want to use hard tubing i think it looks a little bit nicer so let's select our hard tubing we'll use the clear rigid pipe as well as a do -do -do ek water blocks connector so now here's how i think i want to do this 
I want to run this pump to this radiator. I think I want to use this radiator to immediately cool down the CPU. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to click this over here. I feel like that's fine, but I kind of want to bring this down or not, just like so. I kind of fucked it up, but let me, let me just do this. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I fucking already messed this up. I'm going to drag this out and kind of make it about as even with this as possible. I think there's a little bit of a bend in this. I think I just need to take this and drag it out. I'm not the best at this, trust me, but uh, it looks a little rough. Okay, so this needs to be... Yeah, there's something fun funky going on there, but uh, it's okay. It's completely fine. And then this, we're going to drag this out. Like so. And it's a little... There we go. That's not quite how I want it. This is more of what I want right here. That's more of what I want. Pretty straight looking. A little, little messed up. There we go. I think that's as good as we're going to get that right there. That'll be our first tube. And then this tube here will go straight down into the CPU. That's fine. This will go up, connect to the radiator like so. And then we'll go from here down to the GPU. And it might look a little bit messed up. But we kind of got to do what we got to do here. I feel like that's... I don't exactly like this. Maybe I can do something like this. Okay, that seems to be working pretty well. And we're going to move this over like so very carefully and try to make this about as straight as possible, which is going to be a little difficult because of how this case is kind of built. I think that's about as good as we're going to get there. And now we got to add our last tube. I know these kind of look like they're going all over the place, but there's lots of room for improvement when it comes to doing these kind of builds. I know this build will probably get a little bit judged. See, I don't like this. I don't like that at all. I need to figure out how I'm going to fix this exactly because it's kind of... So I'd want it to do something like that and I can kind of get it I don't know how much how close I can really get that to being how I want it per se I can't really even select anything right here can't really select that how I'd like so this is probably how we're gonna have to do this so let's get this connected up here move this more this way like that and get this about as flush as possible bam just like that mm, i feel like this needs to go down a tad bit to be straight but it says it's straight right there even though it really isn't and i think that's how we're gonna have to do it because this is gonna end up i can actually make this a little closer because i don't really want to block off too much of this uh there we go. That's a little bit. I don't want to block off too much of this RGB like I already have. Uh, so this is probably... It's a little off here. But I don't know... Oh, I see what I can do about it. Hold up. Perfect. That is probably about as good as this is going to get. I know it doesn't look good. Please don't judge me too harshly on this. I've never done this in real life. I'm an air cool kind of guy. <laughs> I only have an air cooler on my build. Um, I don't think I'd be too impressed with this IRL, but for the fact that this is kind of a more cramped case, I don't really like the placement of this. Um, I think this is probably about as good as I'm going to get this for right now. I hope this is okay with you guys. I know it does not look very good. But this is about as good as I'm going to get it for right now. I can definitely revisit this later. 
and redo some pipings and stuff like that. But for now, I think this is okay. And as you can see, the reason to clear coolant is just going through and getting everything water cooled, as they say. Uh, it'll be a lot easier when we do the next couple of builds to get this tubing looking good. If I could do it in real life, I feel like I would be able to do it better and then translate it into this game, but it's not something I've done in, in real life before. But I think that is okay for now. Always something we can fix um, later down the line. So let's go ahead and put all the stuff back on this build, like so. Put the dust filters on. We gotta put the back panel on, of course, as well as the uh, fan cover in the back. Like that. I think this front panel can go on. And then these two side panels can go on. And we can get this top panel on like so. Okay, not the best looking build in the world, but uh, for now I think it's okay. I'd have to spend a little more time planning this out. I didn't necessarily plan this out too much, but I'll definitely have to look back at this build maybe. And we already got a boot. I don't even... I thought I didn't have a thing plugged in. So let's go ahead and enable the XMP. As you can see, we got 9900K, 32 gigs of RAM, 2080 Ti. This is gonna be one balling system right here. It's gonna be quite, quite good, I might add. Let's switch over to the 480 gig M.2 SSD and apply our changes. And yes, we will be turning on all of this RGB in a second. It's gonna look really, really nice. Let's go ahead and install all the programs we need, lighting. We will be overclocking this GPU, of course. I will not be touching the CPU yet. I will save that for a separate video. Probably on one of the next couple builds we'll be messing with that. But for this build, I'm not too worried about it. Let's just get this thing all RGB'd up, as they say. Go in here, select RGB, and bam. We're about to have a fully RGB build. Not Honestly, it's not that bad looking. Maybe I'm just critiquing myself a little too much. Um, maybe there's a way better way to do this. I, I don't really know. I know I could maybe, I could actually maybe fix it. I'm gonna try to fix this real quick. Um, give me one second, try to make this look a little bit better and uh, then we'll get on with the benchmarks. Okay, so while it's not exactly perfect, I feel like you can kind of see the RGB a little bit more. This isn't really as in the way as it was before. I know it's not perfect. I know some people might watch this video and be like, dude, what do you mean you like computers? What do you mean you know things about computers? This looks like dog shit. Yeah, you're kind of right, but you know, there's always room for improvement and everything. Don't be negative all the time, man. Be positive, dude. Have some positivity in the comments, man. <laughs> but it doesn't look too bad. I don't think it's the worst thing ever or anything, uh, but it's a pretty solid build for our little copy lake computer here but uh, now it's time to benchmark this thing and see how it compares to everything else here in the work area so let's benchmark this thing okay wait 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 i completely forgot to overclock this damn graphics card okay i completely forgot to do that i do i do apologize um we're gonna push this to the limits here i want to try a 200 megahertz core clock 200 megahertz boost on the core and a 150 on the memory clock. I really want to push this graphics card a little bit. Our temperatures are not bad, so let's uh, let's see what our power draw is here. Let's see how much power we're actually drawing now that we have quite an overclock on this graphics card. I don't know if this is something that would work in real life or not. I personally haven't tested overclocking my graphics card yet. I'm a little scared too. I get really really stingy with my PC stuff, man. I don't want the stuff to break. I, I need to mess with the overclocking just to learn it and understand it better. But uh, it doesn't look like we're hitting anything so far. Thermals are good on our GPU and power is still climbing. Hopefully it won't hit the thousand mark too close. And most likely we'll hit around the 600, 700 range, I think. Maybe a little more than that. Oh, 489, okay, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Not bad, so yeah, this should run pretty well. So yeah, let's go ahead and run this benchmark and see how this thing performs.
All right, guys, so the benchmark is done. As you can see, the Copulate build got a score of 13,688. A pretty awesome score, if I do say so myself. The 9900K itself scored an 11,374 with an average frame rate of 38.17 frames per second. And the 2080 Ti with the 200, I think, I think I did 250, let me, let me check before I say anything right Yeah, 200 megahertz boost clock with a 150 megahertz memory boost clock. Got a score of 14,198. The graphics test one had an average frame rate of 91.41 and the second one had an average frame rate of 82.23. So this system is just an absolute beast. And it basically destroys everything else in this room. Like, just look at this. 11,000 plus on the CPU versus these uh, 8,000, almost 9,000 score on the 2700X. And of course, the almost double the freaking score of the 1070 Ti by itself. Um, the Cave Lake build, I mean, this, this CPU is nothing compared to the 900K. Uh, 2080 still the 1080 still is just even destroyed by the 2080 ti which is what you would expect you know from a graphics, graphics card that costs like over a thousand dollars and then of course compared to the uh, dinky little sky lake build here obviously it's it's no contest the the coffee lake build just absolutely decimates the floor in this workbench but not for long not for long the next build i'm gonna do is gonna be an all AMD beast PC, like the, the fastest one you can build in this game. It's gonna have the Threadripper 2990. Uh, let me let me double check what the hell the processor is called. One second, let me let me just let me just give you guys a little sneak peek. Yeah, the 2990WX Threadripper processor. We're gonna be utilizing this bad boy as well as dual dual. AMD Radeon 7 graphics cards, which are not as fast as Nvidia's cards. It's about the same as the 2080, but it's the fastest AMD graphics card in this game with a whopping 16 gigs of VRAM. So yeah, we're, that's a little sneak peek of the next build. It's gonna be an all AMD, just massive, just big ass computer that's just gonna wipe the damn floor. I don't know exactly which case I wanna use yet, but I'm really excited uh, for the next build. But well, this has been the copulate build. My first time doing uh, water cooling in this game. I've done it a lot on my own. Obviously, this isn't the best, and I kind of want to show you guys uh, some stuff. I might actually, you know what? I, I don't want to. Uh, what I have in my workbench over there inside the little PC storage might spoil um, some things that, because I kind of want to base this AMD build around a build I've done previously in this game on my own. So I don't really want to spoil any of that. But, but yeah, uh, we're gonna be doing a really awesome build next time. Uh, and the next video will be out, I think, next Wednesday, because I have a two-video week upload schedule right now. Uh, if you want the, if you want to see the upload schedule, go to my Discord down below. I also have the uh, upload schedule on my About page if you want to see when I'm streaming, when I am, you know, uploading videos and stuff like that. But I think this is gonna wrap up the Coffee Lake build video. Obviously, I could have done a better job with, of course, the uh, tubing and stuff, but. Uh, you live and learn. I'll, I'll learn how to work around different cases as I build them more often in this game. I really haven't spent much time with, with that case, to be completely honest with you. I definitely need to spend a little bit more time, of it, time using it on my own in this game to learn how to route cables. Not cables, but route tubing better and stuff like that. Soft tubing is kind of cheating in this game because it kind of does it itself, so I don't want to do any of that. Uh, I might do some soft tubing builds later that are more like average builds. This is more of like an enthusiast high-end build right here. Because it's got so much, uh, so much awesome hardware in it. Um, reference to Paul's hardware, but you know. Anyway, that's coming up this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down below. And like I said, uh, if you want to see when I'm uploading, when I'm streaming, you can either check out my Twitch page or go to my About page on YouTube. Join my Discord. I got everything you need there. If you join my Discord, you will get updates as to what's going on, as well as joining my extremely small community that mainly just consists of my friends right now but if you want to join the discord and chat with your boy and his friends and stuff feel free to join the link is down below in the description but yeah that is going to wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did like i said leave a like down below comment all that jazz subscribe if you want to see some more 
and I will catch you guys in my next video. 2018 is a new year. I gotta keep grinding. I got nothing to fear. I gotta always stay clear of all the fakes of all the people trying to drown me in the lake. I'm gonna keep riding. I'm gonna keep spinning. I'm the king around here. I don't know who you're this, and if you don't check me out, you're really missing out. I'm the number one rapper. Why are you over there smoking cloud? Oh my god, baby. I'm